As predicted here on Afternoon Agenda yesterday, New South Wales Trade and Investment Minister Stuart Ayres has fallen on his sword, faced with the prospect of being sacked by Premier Dominic Perrottet over controversy re the appointment of former Deputy Premier John Barillaro to the post of New York Trade Commissioner. The issues in the review go directly to the engagement of Minister Ayres with the Department Secretary in respect of the recruitment process. So that raises questions in relation um, to the Ministerial Code of Conduct. Um, as a result, um, Minister Ayres has resigned from his positions. I expect from here this matter will be going to the Independent Commission Against Corruption. When former Premier Mike Baird reformed the ICAC Act way back in 2015, he put authority over the Ministerial Code of Conduct in ICAC's hands. Certainly it was an interesting timing of the resignation after a conversation between Ayres and Perrottet. Perhaps Perrottet had some knowledge of the bucket Amy Brown, the Head of Investment New South Wales, was about to pour on Ayres' version of events for Reed Barillaro's appointment at a parliamentary committee. Ayres' story had been Brown made the appointment and he had no say. At this point, you tell him that John Barillaro has lied and the minister, did he volunteer the, uh, the positive attributes of John Barillaro's candidacy to you unsolicited? It was more of a back and forth conversation. Um, and he said, I think he could be quite good. When I ask you, was Minister Ayres keeping himself arm's length from this process? You're saying no. In my view, he was not arm's length from the process. There were multiple intersection points throughout. One federal MP commented to me this morning that federal politicians were appointed as high commissioners all the time. This is true, but not when they set up the job. Barillaro set up this $560,000 a year New York Post and appears to have desired to take it up even before leaving Parliament. And then Perrottet and his ministers, once the story blew up, sought to distance themselves as much as possible from the appointment, despite the evidence today suggesting Ayres had his hands on it. It is the cover-up that often gets politicians, not the so-called crime. As one of Ayres' colleagues pointed out to me this morning, politics has been the life of Ayres and his partner Maurice Payne, who now finds herself the Shadow Cabinet Secretary and really appears to be on the way out as well. So that political life looks almost over. Now, the question will be... Does Perrottet cop any backlash for any decisions he made in relation to the appointment of John Barillaro? And Barillaro is set to give evidence to the Parliamentary Committee on Monday. So watch this space and watch Sky News for that.